Good afternoon for our um, Robin update. I kind of have to show you what I had to do. See, I have like a, a nice windowsill. I have herbs and things like that. I had to build a blockade because there was a cat that was constantly at the window. And this morning, Mama Robin flew at my window to scare the cat and the cat didn't move. So, um, I don't, I don't want her to scare, him to scare the babies. So the hatchlings are in there. You can see they're getting kind of big. Their eyes are open. You can really see that they're able to see now. And you can, their feathers are starting to get it, come in really. They have a lot more feathers than they did originally. They're looking more like robins. When they stand up, when mom or pop, and the, the, the dads are around a lot too, and they bring them food, they'll both, they'll stand up and you can see their red bellies they're really starting to look like a grown-up robins. We're getting close to calling them fledglings, those teenagers right before. Um, they're very hungry. Anytime anything comes anywhere near them, they stand up and they open their beaks, beaks begging for food, which is very typical behavior, but they're still not leaving the nest. Um, and that was my concern is not so much that Neville scares Mama. I don't like that he scares the Mama Robin, I want her to feel safe here, but I don't want him to scare the babies and the babies aren't able to fly if they fall. Yeah, they have, I, I don't know how they get down um, before that, but before learning to fly, but you know, it's natural instinct. It's like they, they, have, the ins, they have that instinct in them naturally. So, oh, you saw the, the one stick its, its head up. Um, Usually I get this close and something they one of them flies back anymore. They're very protective of their of, of their young. Unlike like animals like sharks that just lay sharks lay their eggs and they swim away. They don't they don't take part in raising their young at all. But robin birds a lot of birds do this where they hatch they stay on the eggs. The eggs hatch and they help feed them. Don't mind my dirty window. It didn't seem it seems silly to clean it when there's a nest right there. I don't want to, and I don't want to bother them. So I think one just flew back in the bush. Oh no, it's another bush. It's another kind of bird. But yeah, it's just a lot of sleeping over here. Being a being a baby or a young one is a lot of hard work. Um, I don't know how long they'll be. It'll, it'll be until they leave the nest. And start to look for food but I do know that um, they're still here now and so we're gonna enjoy it while they're here it's a shame that mama or papa didn't come back with food because it's really quite a begging sight they get like it's a me I'm so shocked with how long they are because they stand all the way straight up almost like a mere cat would and uh, like on the like um, and I would say they're about a good four or five inches long. So there's a there's our, our robin hatchlings, chicks, whatever you want to call them, resting. Oh, giving that big yawn. Yeah, there's Papa Robin. He sees me. Mama Robin. There you go. See how they stand up? You can see the red under on the belly. And she that's what she does. She feeds them. She has something in her mouth and she just kind of shoves it down their throat. She's give and I think that's actually Papa. And he's giving me the eye, wants to make sure that he knows I'm there, that he's there protecting his young. And obviously, I, you never mess with a bird's nest, friends. Um, never, never with any kind of an, young animal's nest. Okay, especially a bird's nest. You don't want the birds to fall. And if the if the the grown-up birds get a scent of human on there. They will abandon the babies. He flew away because mom flew into the bottom. So I'm going to... Oh, they look so cute. But I'm going to back off because I don't want to... I don't want to freak her out either. Oh, but look how big they are. Oh, it's crazy. They get so big so fast. Uh, they must look like ducks, don't you think? You see that behavior where that... That that be, that one bird is kind of going down. That's the bird cleaning itself. Like how a cat licks itself. It kind of pecks itself with its feather, um, its beak. If it, it pecks its beak with its its feathers with its beak. Ugh. All right. 
See you guys.